Hey you guys, how's it going? My name's Jeff. This year I'm really focusing on semiconductor companies. And this is because I think that the infrastructure of our society moving forward is going to be about computing. It's going to be about electric vehicles and the electrification of our society. And it's also going to be heavily dependent on um, artificial intelligence and also data centers. And all of this requires microprocessors, microchips. And that's why the semiconductor industry, which creates microchips, is where I want to focus my energy. And specifically, there are a lot of really big companies in this industry like Applied Materials and AMD and NVIDIA. Uh, I am more focused on the small companies. So if they're you know, 100 billion or $1 trillion companies, it's less interesting to me than if it's a $2 billion or a $3 billion or a $7 billion company. So those are the ones I'm looking at. And also, I'm going to be real objective about this. At the end of this year, I'm going to look at the returns of my 10 semiconductor stock portfolio. And I'm going to compare this to a semiconductor ETF because if I'm beating the ETF's return, then I'm on the right path. But if all my time and energy and research deliver a return that's worse than the semiconductor ETF, then I'm wasting my time and I'm losing because the opportunity cost of doing it myself is... is too expensive, it's too high a cost when I could get it for almost free just with a real low cost ETF. So I'll tell you the two ETFs that I am looking at as a comparison or a benchmark. One of them is SOXX and the other is SMH. And those are both semiconductor ETFs. They have a very different makeup, but they both kind of cover the whole industry in a diversified way. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video.